Is that a, is that a lawful command? What's your name and your badge number? Look, I'm on an easement. I'm on an easement. I'm on an easement. Either I gotta stand over here. Why are you scared? <laughs> exactly. So get back in your car and get back to work. Shut up. after he says he was violently attacked by a UTMB police dog and then wrongfully detained. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield is live at the law office in Pearland with more on his story, Micah. Eric, we spoke with Jeremy Cummins and his attorney today, and they told us that they plan to file an official notice with both UTMB and with the TDCJ that they plan to take legal action against them in this case. They're hopeful that they can reach some sort of resolution without it, but if they can't, they do plan to file a lawsuit. The attorney told us both agencies did everything wrong every step of the way. We're making them do a count to verify it is not but it's not and i know it's not um the dog bit them you might call it a mistake but jeremy cummins says it was profiling i heard them say i was they thought i was an inmate that's what made me come tell them say look i'm not an inmate back in may he had checked himself in and later out of utmb galveston's mental health unit and as he was walking away both a tdcj and utmb officer identified him as an escaped inmate. UTMB does have a unit that specializes in inmate care. They just saw him walking down the street, they assumed he was, and they said, hey, come over here. When Cummins continued walking, they chased him down, sent a police canine after him, and took him to the ground, all seen here on this surveillance video. Once he was down, a crowd of officers around him and body camera video captured more than one acknowledging that he was not an escaped inmate. It turns out there never was one. Still, they charged Cummins with resisting arrest, took him to jail, put him on suicide watch, and kept him in a cell without any clothes for two days. Those charges have been dropped, but the damage is done. This happened to a lot of people like me all the time. TDCJ sent us a statement saying that on May 8th of this year, TDCJ correctional officers noticed a non-TDCJ patient of UTMB Galveston walking suspiciously toward the prison side of the hospital. UTMB police were notified and responded. UTMB declined to comment to ABC 13 because of the pending legal matters. If I was in trouble, I'd call the police. You know, to save me from being, what, well, who want to call the police when you get done like this? Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.